Hi guys, uh, I'm Jagdish. Welcome to another video regarding the uh, policy analysis matrix. Uh, in previous video, we have uh, explained to you about the framework of policy analysis matrix. In this, we will uh, uh, do some estimations regarding those uh, how to derive the uh, private profitability and the social profitability and the competitiveness. Um, let's go into the video. Uh, first of all, um, I have uh, I've been calculating for a particular crop uh, that is paddy uh, for Tamil Nadu. So, uh, so what we need to do first is you have to collect all the variables which are the input variables used in the production of paddy. So, I have collected here all the input variables and also the output variables that is the revenue part. So, this is my revenue uh, in, in this case. So, uh, initially in the previous video we have explained what all the variables should be in the private cost and what are all the variables should be in the so, uh, 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 social prices that is how to differentiate it and in, in case of private we are classifying into revenue and another one is the input cost that is tradable and non-tradable. So, uh, tradable are the uh, inputs which are going to be uh, exported or uh, which is uh, easily transferable from a country to country or in a region to region whereas in case of non-tradable inputs uh, which cannot be uh, transported or uh, done like that uh, for example land, labor, uh, irrigation etc. So we are uh, taking those into this uh, so let's go into uh, it first uh, what is uh, for uh, we can see the framework see here, here it is the po policy analysis matrix uh, framework if you have not watched the previous video you may watch the previous video and you you can get the clarity so uh, value of output is uh, tradable there there will not be any, any non tradable inputs or sorry in outputs in case of this so tradable in the sense private prices are the prices uh, which is uh, uh, in our current market so this is my private price so uh, private output price so uh, you can, here you can see the uh, revenue is uh, private prices 82000 which is our uh, price then uh, in case of social price the market price that is the uh, competitive market price is taken as the social price uh, in this case i have taken the uh, leading competitor which is the thailand which is followed by india so uh, i have taken the market price of thailand so i have uh, uh, used market price of thailand uh, paddy price so which is uh, 72000 i have calculated those paddy prices from uh, fob that is free on board price it is available uh, in uh, online you can take the data for any number of uh, variables or any number of uh, commodities you can take uh, free on board price or all uh, or you can uh, take caf cost insurance freight uh, price you can take that and you can uh, do the your uh, analysis so similar way i have taken the fob fertilizer prices because uh, Next we will go to, uh, so we have uh, completed the uh, framing, uh, filling of uh, non-tradable that is uh, revenue in case of private price and social price. Now we will be going to the input uh, which are used. We are classifying those into tradable and non-tradable. So what I have done is the inputs used uh, is uh, the tradable or seed manure fertilizers. These have been classified into tradable inputs and in my case I've, uh, in the non-tradable inputs are human labor, animal labor, machine labor irrigation insecticides and land so um, in this case uh, insecticide is uh, because of uh, uh, so much constraints i have taken this as a non tradable input uh, so this is the pattern of classifying or categorizing your variables into tradable and non tradable so what we have done in case of uh, revenue uh, the same procedure will be followed here so in case of tradable private prices what we are going to do is we are calculating the private prices and we are uh, uh, entering the private prices cost in case of uh, tradable so similar way the private prices of non tradables are uh, a entered in case of non tradable inputs so this uh, in this way we are filling up the private prices so this profit is nothing but the revenue minus cost which is nothing but a minus b minus c that is uh, a which uh, stands for uh, revenue 
B which is the tradable input cost and C which is non tradable input cost. So the surplus which is the profit is A minus B minus C. A anyway you can uh, you can calculate it both the ways you can get the uh, profits here. So the next one is social prices of inputs used. So social prices in the case I have initially said I have taken the market price of uh, Thailand. So for the Thailand for the same year what are all the inputs you have been considered in case of non tradable you should take the values from the markets in Thailand or else you can use the uh, some formulas has been used in some uh, literatures which is the profitable share which is a uh, factor share has been that is the value of marginal product uh, you have been known in, uh, regarding that topics so uh, they have used the uh, formula for calculating the social prices and they have estimated or else you can take the prices of the thailand uh, 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 so uh, what are all the uh, inputs you have used here you have to take the values of that particular inputs uh, from uh, thailand market prices so similar way I have taken the social prices and I have uh, estimated the values. Mm, uh, FOB fertilizer prices are also available. So I have taken the FOB fertilizer prices and I have converted the dollar uh, rate and I have uh, estimated the values. So similar way I have estimated the social prices of all the commodities and I have chosen here. So finally we are filling up the social prices of uh, tradable and non-tradable inputs. Similar way we are using it. So this final one that is the policy transfer is nothing but we are subtracting uh, the private and social prices that is a minus e uh, uh, similar way we are calculating this and this is uh, uh, one important thing and uh, next we will be seeing the export competitiveness that is nothing but uh, there are uh, different uh, competitive measures we can be used uh, uh, in this policy analysis matrix which uh, through which we can say whether the domestic price is higher or the export price is uh, uh, or the Thailand price is higher whether we are com uh, comparatively advantaged when compared to Thailand those type of measures can be easily identified through these uh, competitive measures so first one is NPC that is the nominal protection coefficient which is uh, I have already explained in the previous video that is the domestic price by the border price. So when NPC is, NPC is greater than 1 it indicates that domestic market price of the commodity exceeded the border price which discourages the uh, export of that particular commodity because the domestic price is very high then why the farmers are going to uh, export. So this is a condition. So our NPC is 1.13 which is greater than uh, 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 export uh, which is greater than 1 and uh, there, there will be limited number of uh, exports and similar way the next one is effective pro pro protection coefficient which is also same uh, regarding the uh, non tradable uh, that is the value added in domestic uh, prices and value added in uh, border prices which is nothing but the uh, cost so if the uh, EPC is greater than 1 indicates positive in incentives effects of the commodity policy example some uh, export subsidy to producers so if example yeah, for example if EPC is less than 1 there is a negative incentive effect either there may be some uh, policies which affect uh, farmers for example if there is a taxation it would affect so these are the uh, ways of uh, finding it and the followed by is domestic resource cost in case of our uh, EPC it is greater than 1 so there are uh, some export subsidies or some producer subsidies are there because in fertilizer uh, there is a uh, nutrition based subsidy which is available for the farmers so uh, absolutely it is going to be greater than 1 domestic resource cost which is nothing but the uh, how much of the resources have been used from the domestic uh, uh, markets so which is uh, estimated using this that is the shadow prices of the agriculture commodities which is nothing but the uh, uh, the social prices and uh, divided by the uh, uh, private cost and uh, similar way so if you have any doubts in uh, calculating these export competitiveness you please watch the previous video in which i have clearly explained how to estimate those uh, competitiveness in this I am just uh, enabling you to uh, know uh, what are the export uh, or the competitive factors which can be used here and uh, this is the way in which you can use and uh, if the domestic resource cost is lower then uh, for example um, the DRC values were calculated for each commodity uh, for example let's wait I will show you so here it is 0.51 that is 50 one percentage of the domestic resources has been used and uh, rest of these are being traded or uh, something like that so it states like 
uh, and uh, this is the simplest way of uh, calculating the policy analysis matrix you uh, if you have any doubts you can clarify uh, by making some uh, mails or uh, throw a comment uh, you can get clarification and i hope you have uh, learned something about the policy analysis matrix uh, thank you for watching the video please do subscribe thank you